Thank you so much, Arlene. Um, it is a pleasure to get to do this kind of thing, I have to say. In my post-stage life, uh, I've done a lot of uh, things I'm happy and lucky to say, but to do things like this, to really get under the hood a little bit on things that I danced, I have many questions. We could do this, frankly, until tomorrow, the day after, with all the things I want to ask that wonderful woman over there. But we're going to do a, a, a little sampling, if you will, of something just marvelous and miraculous that went on here, uh, which has been one of the things I've talked about and thought about a lot since I got involved on a more serious level with City Center. I've been on their board for a few years now. Uh, and in looking at this program, I've always thought, what are the things I'm interested in? What might be interesting for uh, audiences, familiar and unfamiliar? Kind of playing to a number of different uh, houses, if you will. And one of the things that's always awed me is going into a place and realizing what happened there, whether it's you know something historical, uh, if it's a city, if it's, I remember once getting lost on the Mount of Olives, going, oh my God. And when I walk into city center, I think, wow, think of the things that went on here. The ghosts, the ghosts, of, and in this room in particular, and downstairs, and uh, so we're going to talk about all those things. So we're looking at 1960 because it is uh, an anniversary year. And I thought, what went on in 1960? A lot went on in 1960. Um, and it's, we're centering it on what went on right here. And uh, the first thing I want to say is that, you know, this was the house of Balanchine in 1960. And Balanchine was not here alone. He was with dancers. He was with uh, Lincoln Kirstein had an office upstairs. He had Barbara Horgan sitting right here, who, you know, Barbara Horgan, who was uh, Mr. Balanchine's great aide throughout his life and afterwards created the Balanchine Trust and Foundation, ensuring the legacy that it goes on. And it is with tribute to her in many ways that we're able to do so many of the things we're able to do today here. So Barbara, thank you, first of all, Barbara Horgan. And yes. And seated behind her, I should acknowledge Ellen Soren, the current uh, president, di director of the Balanchine Trust, who uh, ensures that for the next generations that these ball ballets are danced around the world, everywhere. Uh, Violet just said, Tchaikovsky Potter, it's danced everywhere. Yes, and it should be. Uh, so 1960 was an amazing year, first of all. I thought about, okay, what else went on? Uh, Joanne Woodward received the first star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Think about that. And Joanne is uh, on our board here at City Center as well. Elvis came home from Germany. Uh, the Beatles started their thousand hours in Hamburg, if you ever read that, when they, they had 48 days and they played 10 hours a day and more, creating that, that environment where they could have the, the kind of knowledge that Malcolm Gladwell referred to uh, as leading to the kind of genius they did. Five African countries gained their independence in that year. Kennedy, of course, after the first televised debate, uh, uh, beat Richard Nixon. Uh, the, um, okay, a little th thing I was thinking about Cuba. We just had a group going to Cuba. 1960, the first embargo, the first round of embargo, which led to Castro seizing American assets, and still, 50 years ago, we're thrilled to get to go to Cuba. Just happened last year, uh, last week. Think about all those things um, that went on. Uh, we had Mary Martin uh, and Richard Rogers winning Tonys for Sound of Music. Um, the Yankees lost to Pittsburgh in the World Series. Um, Updike wrote Rabbit Run, began that great Harry Angstrom series, and Harper Lee uh, wrote To Kill a Mockingbird. Uh, it was an amazing year. And at City Center, there were premieres in the ballet world, like uh, just one after another. There were actually four Balanchine premieres that year. Uh, tonight, we're looking at three. And I should tell you that it came out completely self-servedly. There are three that I danced. Uh, the one that I did not dance, uh, Monumentum Pro Gesualdo, which was in celebration of the 400th anniversary of Gesualdo's birth, uh, also premiered in that year. And we'll talk a little bit more about that. But tonight, we're going to look at Tchaikovsky Parada, Donizetti Variations, and Liebeslieder Walser. Uh, I should say we're going to, Donizetti was part of something called a Salute to Italy. See, there was many anniversaries, even then. That was the 100th anniversary anniversary of the unification of Italy, believe it or not. You will recall, of course. Um, now, uh, the, my first, I'm going to ask Barbara about this later. Uh, how did that ever, I mean, my goodness. <laughs> Lincoln, 
Must have been, yes. Okay, so that would have been Lincoln. Uh, so we're going to start by looking at some of these ballets in a moment. But the first thing I want to do is welcome someone who has been a part of my career since I was a child, uh, a part of the dance world's uh, elite uh, chosen ones for, uh, you know, time immemorial, it seems. Violette Verdi is with us today. Before Violette gets to speak, I want to say a few words on her behalf, as they say. Uh, Violette, born in France, danced for Roland Petit, La Scala, London Festival Ballet before coming to ABT, and ultimately to New York City Ballet in 1958 uh, in, these, in this theater dancing for Mr. Balanchine. And Later on, after she retired from the stage, she was the director of the Paris Opera. She co-directed the Boston Ballet, where I was so lucky to first meet her at the age of 12. Uh, she, I remember my first encounter with you in the back hallways on 19 Clarendon Street, and you said, oh my goodness, a young boy. <laughs> and it was, you know, <laughs> says quite a bit right there. Um, and she shepherded me at the, in those years and gave me inspiration as well as great training, and she went on uh, to, I re-met her in the years following at New York City Ballet, where she was teaching and coaching. Uh, she has been a distinguished professor at Indiana University for a number of years. She is the permanent guest faculty of uh, uh, the School of American Ballet. Uh, she's Chevalier. I mean, it, it goes on. But the first thing I want to say is say thank you for joining us here. Thank you for having me. And Damien, there was no question you were going to go very far. And there's even more to come. Oh, well, that is very <laughs> kind of you. So you know what we're going to start with, Violette, is we're going to start with Donizetti Variations oh. for that Salute to Italy I mentioned. Um, yes. And it was initially called something different, actually, Variations on Don Sebastian. Don Sebastian, uh, yeah. Which was the mm -hmm. opera uh, in 1843, uh, in case you're taking notes. Uh, and. So I guess the first thing, before we introduce the dancers, what was your first thought? So this was not made for you, but no, you went it, into it very quickly. Yes, very quickly. Melissa Hayden created it. But then later on, Jonathan Watts, particularly, and myself, we danced it. Yes. And I felt very much at home with it. I think of it as, frankly, particularly Violette. There, there's many <laughs> steps, and we can point them out a little bit as we go through some of the excerpts of it that uh, we'll see uh, whether they were inspired, related, or changed, or because Balanchine was so famous for adapting. And yes, for different dancers, which was lovely, because we didn't struggle. Mm -hmm. we, we had comfort. He delivered. He could always do something extraordinary anyway. You know, it was like he gave us valentines oh, to each one of us. He did. Valentines, literally. Oh, so beautiful. <laughs> All right, so tonight we have many dancers joining us. We have from the New York City Ballet, uh, Tyler Peck and Joaquin Deleuze and Daniel Ulbricht for Donizetti because Joaquin has a slight injury. So what we're going to do is we're going to be sharing some of Joaquin's roles tonight, as you'll, you'll gather, uh, as we go along. And I'll leave it at that for now. But we're going to start. And I think, why can we have just the first entrance of the principals for, uh, for Donizetti and Tyler Peck and Joaquin Deleuze? <laughs> And, sorry, Cameron Grant on the piano, principal pianist of New York City Ballet. Bravo.
Very nice. Are you okay? <laughs> All right. So one of the things that I've always loved is that this is such a great way to start. You come out, da 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 da, bum bum, bum and you you know you really it's it's a great way to begin. It's so exciting, and it doesn't really you don't you don't feel like the pain is what's to come because it is very very hard dancing this one. But that little circle we were just talking about. Let's just talk about the end. Violet, tell me about that circle. Well, that, it's fun because you know you you don't want to be safe. You can't afford it. You have to have a little danger in here. So you run far away. And the getting of her, it get, comes as a surprise practically. And you, you almost attack him too when you decide to let him lift you. Should she attack him a little more, a do you think? More. I want to see you attack more. him a Maybe tiny a bit more. more. <laughs> and then the lift. <laughs> what do you think about that lift, Violet? I bet, you know, how did you feel? You were being lifted, was it a fast and high or more sideways? I was hoping not sideways? to sweep in the turning the corner. You were worried about the corner. <laughs> 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 Let's try that. Can we do the before the running? The hand, dum 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 dum. <laughs> All right, Tyler, attack him. I think he's too close to her, no? Yes. That's about very good. Nice, and finish it out. Spot front, Joaquin. <laughs> <Very good>. Okay. <laughs> Right? Joaquin, a little. I know, they're very close. Very yes, good. this is an unusually, unusual situation. All right, so rest for a moment or two, and then we're going to go to her variation. We'll talk a little bit about this. I remember the first time that um, I danced this, the next morning, my phone rang, and it was Jerry Robbins. And he said, uh, Hey, baby, I uh, saw your Donizetti last night. And I thought, okay. And he said, you know, it's about pasta and pizza. And I said, really? And he said, yes, you have to, it's like you're spinning pots and pizzas, and you're, you're in the middle of it all. And I think he was really talking about the dance with the girls around more. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Yeah. Um, bum, Very bum, bum, oh, it's bum, a great moment. But I have a funny feeling Mr. Balanchine didn't actually say that, did he? I don't think, I didn't hear that one, no. No, <laughs> no, no, not from him. Tell me a little bit about, you know, what, what your experience with him about Donizetti in particular, how he felt. Well, he loved the little business of the Sodosha because I had done it in Simon Variations in yes. Ballet Theater and it was very fast, that second solo. This is what we refer to affectionately as the Violette Parasha. <laughs> this is what was uh, uh, the done. The little kick of the leg. Yes. It's just to get to that fifth position and yet point that foot, you know. I so see. You, you, you have to kick. Yeah. And then he put it in Donizetti also. He mm -hmm. emphasized it in there. And also he loved me to jump on my big button on my right foot in the pique en tournant. And he would say, specialité de la maison. And I said, specialité du chef. <laughs> so to jump out on the pique. <laughs> yes, yes. Interesting. A little bit All of right. a jumping on point, a little bit. And what about the, the anything about the Italian flavor? Or oh, is yes. it all built of in? Of course. And that in the solo became becomes very apparent the way she's playing literally with her steps and like singing yes. to herself. I love yes. that. Yeah. All right. And this has been, uh, you know, a role that uh, has been cherished by ballerinas and Balanchine passed it on and I should acknowledge, I mentioned, you know, Barbara as uh, the keeper of Balanchine's flame in so many ways during his life and after. And there are also many dancers who have lived through the, the genius, if you will. And so I want to point out uh, my wife, Heather Watts, who's a ballerina for Balanchine, hey. and danced all three of these ballets we're looking at for Mr. Balanchine, and also, uh, I should say, was discovered by you, if I'm correct, because there's more to the story. Discoveries, it was so obvious. She was so magnificent. When I saw her in California at our teacher, Sheila Rosan, yeah, it was wonderful to discover yeah, Incredible, her. the layers yes. of things that and, go on. It's not just about God. that, it's also about the fact that, you know, when Violette is out and she's teaching or she's dancing somewhere and she sees someone and then life goes on and you can say this this many years later, it's, it's an amazing thing. It's so wonderful to discover. It, yes. it refreshes you completely. It gives yeah. you a new, new leaf on life, really. Yes. Yeah. All right, well, why don't we look at that variation we just talked about? Can we have the Pexter back? All right, fantastic. Yes, all right. Yes. So Cameron, we're going to go to the Tyler's variation and we'll sit.
fabulous, absolutely wonderful, wonderful. So buoyant and so fully done at such speed, but so fully delivered and your whole body moves, your whole body speaks. It, it's, it's really wonderful, it's like singing. Not just dancing, but singing too. Well, Tyler's a, 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 not only just you know a brilliant dancer, but she's also incredibly theatrical. Did you know she was in The Music Man when she was a child and 13? And she has a great <laughs> sense of theater. So Absolutely. I think let's talk a little bit about the theater, what you were talking about, singing the song and yes, language. Exactly. We, we, let's do a little bit of that section. Yes, maybe we talk about it uh, first. Maybe but. at the very beginning when you do the thing, and you know when you do those things, and then the little... You know, that you can retreat a little more inside yourself and then go out for the public, like, you know, maybe just a little bit. Okay. I mean, things like Tell the story. Is you here? Yeah. The yeah, little story we're about. talking about here. Yeah, just a little bit. Then can we go from that section? I don't know what okay, that's just called. Just the beginning a little bit. Okay. Just a bit from the beginning and we'll see. From the beginning. Right. Wonderful. <laughs> What was wonderful about what you just did, it was not just out there for people giving them that much, but it also had the singing for yourself. Like, you know, you learn something and you're singing, you know, and, you know, it's wonderful. There's an interior song as well. Absolutely. It's in, the, it's in there, right? Yes. Which takes it off of, the, off of the, this part of it. It's much lighter. Much, it's very light, isn't it? Also, it gives you a little release. And you know, it's wonderful that little sub Mr. Bill used to say, lift the soles of your shoes. Lift the soles of your shoes. You know, like when you do that little um, Italian uh, jump. Oh, nice. <laughs> yes. So just, lift yeah. the soles of your shoes only. There's no time to, to do They'd much. Not really life. jump, but. Just get those soles up in the air, you know, when you do that little. Can you lift the soles of your shoes? <laughs> what did <I> say? <laughs> you know when you do plies go on there, that little plies Yes. And... Do you know where we are? Yeah. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> yep. Up. That's right! Huh? Huh? That's Oh, wow. That's it. Okay. Wonderful. <laughs> Very witty. Maybe you can even do a little more if you plie a little bit on half point more. Just very light. Da, 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 da. But, but no, don't take longer. Just, just don't take longer. Just right. it's like nothing. Da, 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 da. Oh, wow. So yes. oh, sophisticated. Uh, it's so witty. Yeah. It's really witty. Really witty. That's so interesting. That's one of the things yes. I think is you know, translated from... You, you, you are expressing so well the way she, Violet speaks, first of all, the vocabulary she uses to describe a mood or a step is just exquisite, but it's also, it's witty. It's a witty conversation. It's not just a normal conversation. It's incredibly strange and wonderful and, and a thought occurs. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, you want to go rest? Rest for a minute. Oh, Okay, now, now, um, <laughs> so now, Danny Olbrecht is going to join us, um, pinch hitting a little bit um, with Joaquin. We're just going to do a little of the variation, and we'll talk a little bit about that. Okay, so Danny, welcome. Boys Variation. So again, there's a mood being established here. It's very grand music, isn't it? Bum, Absolutely. Bum, 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 bum. It has a valiant, slightly heroic quality. Yes, it does. And also yeah. very Italian, because very charming. And the change of direction also has that wit. That there, we you see what so I mean much. about the vocabulary? Valiant. 
It is a valiant quality, which is valiant. completely different than, you know, I say, you know, a daddy has to be strong. No, it's valiant. Like My the tenor, goodness. you know, yeah. the, the hairy tenor. Yes, you know, indeed. The same thing. Like on the bus it's stops the right thing. now. Exactly. Yes. Um, yeah. So let me, I'm going to talk to him for one second, because Danny, you've never danced this. So Danny's really jumping in here, so we owe him a huge debt of gratitude to help us to show Donna Zetti today. So we're going we're gonna to work on it a little, because God knows he'll be dancing it a lot. So I'm going to hand you this for one second. I'm going to talk to Danny. Suggest you mark a little bit the whole the, the diagonals for the feeling more than the thing, sure. but then show us the coupe jetés. Okay. okay, all right. Okay. One more time. <laughs> and. Um. Okay. anything, you know. I haven't done anything. It was nothing. <laughs> Very this is right. It's a, the <laughs> contrast it between valiant yes, and, like, oh, oh, you this know, is nothing. Because from there, you da 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 dun da 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 dun 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 It's just, like, so light. Anytime. Anytime. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> Anytime I want. Like taking candy from a baby, right? <laughs> it's so easy. Okay. Great. Tyler, come back. Okay, now, now let's, let's just get to the bottom of this right now. This, now we're going to do the coda. Now, was this there before you, this Padasha, or no? Uh, well, the Sudasha was there. Yes. But it was more the regular one. It was a regular then one. Then it acquired that little special kick. It did, that yeah, little special, little special je ne sais quoi. Yeah, it got yeah. kicked up a little bit. Uh huh, yeah. that's is it. <laughs> so you, you owe a little bit of thank you for that one, because it's really quite something to do, isn't it? <laughs> It's just an amazing thing. Okay, so now we'll do the coda, and I think we'll go on. Uh, so Danny should be ready because he's going to jump in. No, 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 that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was like Kramer. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. All right, you're good. And then we'll see what happens. All right. Whenever you're ready, Tyler. <laughs>
we all have to pitch in. Um, it's the only way we'll get there. So before we leave Donizetti, I want to say, first of all, thank you, Danny. Never danced before. It was just beautiful. It was just great. Thank you. And then I want to, I think we should extend the idea for Tyler into the Dakota as well about the witty conversation because she's, it's so amazing what she's yeah, doing. Well, but of them, I mean, what they can do. Yeah. And I have never seen those parents done that way with the slowing down and then the incredible speed. Yeah, the, the control. What about the arms on the, on the, on the, on the, on the keep your, circle? Keep your arms maybe a little bit lower to, to take the brunt of the landing of a, yes, a little on bit On the PK circle. Possibly, so that you, you take it in. You know, in Lighter. the navel, in the, the toes in the navel, <laughs> so to speak. Uh, yes. so, yeah, point to the, you know, so it sort of contains you, yeah, and you receive the shock of landing. Yes, and I feel like, I mean, that everything can stay the same and yet have even more just... <laughs> well... No, I don't know. What do you think? I'm very you tell that story? By, yeah, I, I think that it's very inspiring the way she does it because yeah. her body laughs practically also with her. There's a, a sort of little ripple of laughing in, uh -huh. in the steps that she does. Just like, a, you know, a great soprano with a ha 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 ha, you know, those things. She does that. She has that sort of delicious little laughing ripples in her body when she dances from Fantastic. the music and everything. Beautiful. Yeah, it's okay. really great. Okay, thank you so much. All right, so we'll see them a little later. So that was our little salute to Italy section. So that was on, uh, I think, November 16th, 1960, if I have that right. And that was this little program which, and Balanchine said he wanted something cheerful and happy to, to go with the other pieces. There was Sonambula was on it. There was a Luke Christensen piece I'm not familiar with, Con Amore, uh, and the Monumentum. Does that ring a bell, Con Amore? Yeah, so this was the salute to Italy in honor of unification's anniversary. Um, now, we're going to go a few days ahead. Later in November that month, Liebes Leader Walser occurred. And now, Violet, you were a part of the original cast, and why did, can you tell us a little bit about how it all, you know, the first days, what you heard, what you knew? Tell me again, which? Liebes Leader. Liebes Leader. Liebes Leader. Oh, my yeah. God. Liebes Leader. Oh, my God. Liebes Leader was extraordinary for me, completely. I realized that there were very few ballets that had that much intimacy describing the conjugality, the relationships, all the difficulties of a relationship with a man and a woman, but always that extraordinary intimacy which revealed itself in also things that were in the end very theatrical. It was incredible, both in the choreography and the mood. Yes, I, I, I read that you, you described it almost as confessions, which yes, I love the private, idea. Yes, because the privacy came out, that revealed, but not voluntarily. Involuntarily, you got the picture, you understood what was going on, but it was not put in front of you just like that. It was not exposed. And the endless, it was revealed. The endless permutations of the way to use the waltz, it just, it just seemed like it, it, was, it felt like to you guys in the studio must have been like, wow, it just keeps coming with more Absolutely. and more invention. Oh, it was coming out like a river. It was amazing. And also the singing, yeah. to have both the, the, the piano and the singing lines to mm. work with. We were working between waters, between waves. We were constantly uh, carried and responsible for what we were doing, but carried also. Were the singers, how often were they at the rehearsals in the beginning, or was it mostly just with, with the mostly piano? Mostly the musicians, mostly. and then eventually, of course, when we got the singers, and then we realized the tone of each dance was different. It was really different, and I was very lucky because I got a little bit of all the singers too. And I remember that it changed my mood when I was doing it. I was more feminine or a little bit more rebellious or different things, you know. It was terrific to, to respond to that, yeah. Amazing. And yeah. so, and Liebes Leader was a, a significant ballet in its, it was a daring ballet in its length to say we're going to do an hour basically of, of waltzes and you know uh, the story of Balanchine came backstage and somebody said oh so many people left and he said oh but look how many people stayed uh, I don't know if it's apocryphal or not perhaps Barbara could have happened uh, it did happen 
Fantastic. <laughs> Validation. I, I said to Barbara before I came in, I'm going to, I'm going to be graded later. So I, I'm so far so good. Uh, so, and, we're, we're, and it's in two sections. The first section, um, Balanchine is uh, quoted as saying it is the people, and in the second section, it is their souls that are dancing. And creatures. It, it, creatures. Sort of creatures, really, in a way. We're more regular people in the first one, mm -hmm. and it's more social. It has more of a social aspect also. The second one is already in a different world, and the relationships are very distilled. Mm -hmm. It's not the regular relationships anymore of people that you recognize. It's like translated. Celestial. Yes. It's somewhere else. Yes. Yeah. OK, so we are going to work in reverse. We have the wonderful Jennifer Ringer and the wonderful Jared Angle. And we are going to do their pas de deux from the second section first. We're going to go backwards. And this was, um, uh, so in, in, in my day, this was Patty or Heather. Yes. And uh, yes. so, and do you have any, do you want to, shall we just have them do it and then we'll, we'll talk? Actually, shall we just have them do it and then we'll oh, talk yes. about it? Oh, yes. We'll do Let's it. Okay. It. Let's do yeah, it. yeah. Yes. So the second, I should clarify, the second section is on point. And then in the first section, it's more of in the ballroom shoe. Okay, so. That was so beautiful. Wow, two of you. Well, let's, you and I talk a little, Jenny. You want to change your shoes to the other ones? And then we'll, we'll talk. So the thing about Liebeslieder in some ways, and I remember Melissa saying this, who this part was originally created for. Uh, she came backstage once and she said, they just have to have the characters. You all have to be characters. You're different characters. And... Um, and you know, it was, I remember we were all standing in our 
outfits, and suddenly we thought, okay, yes, yes, we must remember, <laughs> yes. you know, kind of characters, you know, which, you know, I imagine it should be, it, it's inside. You just said about Jenny, she's so true. Oh, so true. Oh, so true, completely. Yes, absolutely. We'll repeat it, that for her so, when she comes so, back. It's yeah. it, really true. Yeah, and so no was way. there an emphasis on characters in per se, or was it literally that it was spinning out, as you said, in rivers, and it was about you, or was it about the, the songs? You or? have to take a pilgrimage into it. You have to listen to that music and those singers. You have to see what, why the steps, and what they collect of the atmosphere. And you know, atmosphere is elusive. It's not concrete. Mm -hmm. But boy, it is there when it there you know it it's you know it's there and so but you have to go inside to come out with the answer oh my god oh you have to go in it's an inside job uh, yeah it's an inside job absolutely it's a big inside job wow it's true i must say the idea i mean you see what i'm talking about she said you have to take a pilgrimage that is such a gift i have to oh. tell you i mean i want to just digress slightly i remember i went to indiana to do nutcracker remember a few years ago back <laughs> with julie kent and I watched you teach class, and you were talking about technique, which is something I wanted to talk about briefly, because 50 years, if you think, 50 years, how were people dancing? How does it relate to today? Is an entire topic we could spend you know, weeks on, of course. But I just want to say something again about the, the way you describe things, because um, she was teaching about how to do pirouettes, and what it takes to do a beautiful pirouette, a true pirouette. And um, forgive me, Viola. All right. So, there was a young woman, and she was in a fourth about like this, and Violet said, you know, why don't you do more of a fourth? It is, she said, the obligation of the fourth. The greater the fourth you do, the greater the obligation is to do the beautiful pirouette. And if you do the small fourth, there's less of an obligation. It's not really going to be something special. But the lower and the more beautiful, you said, would give us the beautiful thing. And oh. I thought to myself, oh my god, what a brilliant way of describing it. To make it that kind of challenge in such a way. And in the same way, a pilgrimage to Liebes Leader Land, if you will, the gift of Liebes Leader Land. Yeah. So, incredible. Is, so did you hear what she said about you? She was very disappointed. It was incredible. <laughs> she said just um, how true you are. Yeah. How Brilliant. true. Yeah. And it's just, uh, I have to say, it's been, it was a great gift dancing with you. And it's such a great gift to watch you. And can we have maybe one more dance? Maybe two, we'll see. <laughs> now, we're going to take a pilgrimage to the first section now. <laughs> All right. And uh, we'll look at one more dance from Liebes Leader.
ask Jenny a question. So, Jenny, Liebes Leader for you, I know you danced um, Jelana's role because we danced it together and you've danced Melissa's role. And, you know, it, it is a challenge to switch roles like that, isn't it? How do you feel about, I mean, it, but, and yet, what, what is your drive? I mean, Violet referred to it as the pilgrimage. For me, it was always uh, spoken to me by the choreography. Um, it it's feel, felt very apparent um, how to interpret the different roles just from the choreography that was given to the music. Um, it always felt like a different ballet. It was the same ballet, but it was a different role and it was a different ballet just because of the different choreography and the different um, way that Balanchine responded to the music. Interesting. Did you, you obviously, you did your role, and that, but, but you felt very familiar, I imagine, because it's a world, because when you're there, you're sitting and you're watching and you're a part of everybody oh, else's dance. Oh, that was so wonderful. We, we were in a different world. We were yeah. a group. We were yeah. really sharing the same experience, all of us, with the different details, but it was, yes. Fantastic. It's I want to ask, we're going we're gonna to indulge with Jenny and teach her yet a third role in Liebes Leader, um, because originally for this evening, I didn't have the, I didn't know I was going to have such an incredible honor to have Violette here. So, but I realized we needed to explore a little bit of your part. So we've made a modest effort. Oh my God. And uh, okay. so we want to try a little bit. But before we do, I want to clarify, I want, I want your illustrative uh, thoughts on this wonderful moment. And I'm going to put down my microphone and you're going to help me for not the last time. Hold on one second. <laughs>
So that was such a pleasure to do. So it was such a nice excuse such to get to, nice visit, to visit Thank that you. world. I took a little pilgrimage. Oh, my, oh God. my goodness. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> it's still, it's just mysterious. There's, um, there's a line at the end, the, the last dance in Liebeslieder is the Goethe line. I have it written because I didn't want to mess it up, which would be terrible. Now ye muses silence, you have sought to portray how joy and sorrow alternate in a lover's heart. That's the final song. And what's so interesting is that Balanchine certainly answers that because you can answer it through the dance. You can. You can't say it. We try. We use all of our powers to say it. And yet, what says more than something about the way her leg raises slowly and then she's being waltzed in a horizontal position. Oh my God. Yes. Says everything, doesn't it? Yes. yes. Isn't that the miracle of it? it I mean, is. It is. It's not how much you do. It's not how much you do, it's how much it means, really. Oh, what a gift. What a gift the Libus Leader is. It's, uh, it's endlessly, you know, you can heal more and more yes. from it. There's oh, yes. always more. Oh, yeah. yes. And also, you recognize also uh, when, when women sometimes declare their weakness and they need the man and they fall in his <laughs> arms and then they recover their strength and they say, no, enough. You know, and you know, all uh -huh. those things are there. All yes. the wonderful in exchange between... Confessions and yes. semi-confessions. Yeah, absolutely, more confessions. <laughs> yes. More confessions. <laughs> so that was just before Thanksgiving in 1960, bringing us back. So uh, our President Kennedy had been elected. Must have been a str an interesting feeling in the country oh, right then. Am amazing. Really, amazing. Um, alive and inspiring. inspiring. And, inspiring and he had such plans for dance for Mr. Balanchine particularly. Mm -hmm. He had him at the White House yeah. and told him, you know, I want to get things done for you and yeah. That is the story of Ballet in America in many ways that, that people like Kennedy and Nelson Rockefeller and yes. you know, they felt intrinsically and, and, and literally that Balanchine was, was building something and they wanted to be okay. a, a, on, in this building phase and it separated everything out. And McNeil okay. Lowry and, and the Ford Foundation and everything that came from then on. And 1960 really was a moment. It's oh, yes. just like it was building and building. Time, really. Yeah. Yeah. So much hope. So much hope. Which is still here. Indeed it is. Yes. <laughs> yes, that is right. Absolutely. So that was November. But earlier that year, in March, uh, one of the great classical bravura paradas was created, uh, Tchaikovsky Parada. Ah. And the story of Tchaikovsky Parada is, is remarkable. It's music from Swan Lake, hurriedly written by Tchaikovsky for a ballerina who is going to be going into it, I believe, in the fourth cast, whose name I, I just can't sum it up. It's Sobin I didn't know those Sobin details. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it was never a part of the main score, in other words. It was something that was being added for a special thing. And then it languished and was discovered in the 50s, early 50s. In a museum. And it had been saved uh, in the middle of debris or yeah. something like that. And somehow this came to Balanchine's attention and he requested to, to do it, Barbara's nodding, and then there you have it. So it took a, a few years, I guess, from the discovery, and then uh, it was time to do it. And, and he called a rehearsal for, for you and for Jonathan Watts? Is Actually, that how it was? Actually, it was going to be Diana Adams mm -hmm. and Jacques, and they were both tall dancers, and Conrad and myself were learning it. And then ah. Diana had a bad foot, unfortunately, and she couldn't do it. And Mr. B told me, you're a little too small for Jacques, because it's cute in Stars and Stripes, but in this one, maybe not. And so <laughs> you and Conrad will do it. So we will Conrad work and on you, it. And that's how it was. And that's how it fell on our lap. And mm -hmm. a little bit of it was already done, uh, of the first section, the mm -hmm. adagio. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but he went on after that, and we can say that the rest was done literally for us. Conrad's solo was double the length 
of what is left now. Seriously. And it's a good thing that Ouch. they cut it because yes. the coda is unusually long yes. for a pas de deux. It's like another section of dancing with yeah, it's many. An, there's an extra section the of dancing very long. In, in Tchaikovsky yeah. pas de deux, which we'll, we'll talk about when we get there because it, <laughs> it makes it extremely hard. They um, keep coming back and doing yeah. wonderful things until yeah. the last dive. <laughs> you know, exactly. And yet, for all of the, the, the things that are difficult in it, and it, again, it still has that feeling in, in a different Oh, yes. language of a sort. It's not in the, it doesn't have an Italian accent at all, but it has the, the accent of this is nothing for us. This is elegant dancing. It's not, Absolutely. we're not doing hard no, no. things. And also the encounter has to have that discovery feeling, a young feeling and yeah. fresh. You have to be fresh so that the, the adagio and the beginning is not like the coda mm -hmm. or the solos. Then it, the heat comes with the solos mm -hmm. and it's all out for the coda. Fantastic. Absolutely. I remember um, Eddie Villela coming backstage to talk to me about it once and um, I was quite young and quite new in the, the, the ballet and I, I have to say it took me, I felt it took me a few years, it wasn't about the dancing of it, it was about what she was talking about, it was about that feeling of who, who is this guy in a sense. And I remember he said to me backstage in Saratoga, he said, he's not this guy with the hand on the hip. And which is a way that we kind of, Joaquin and I are going to have this conversation right now actually. It's a way that we kind of, it, it's, it's a good way to hide. You can put your hand on your hip and say, okay, I'm, I look presentable enough, I'm a, a man in light blue tights, albeit, but here I am uh, <laughs> with a little bow, you know, it's <laughs> highly questionable. Um, but you put the, the hand on the hip and, you know, I'm, I'm there, I'm okay. But Eddie backstage said, he's not that guy. He's, He's this guy. He's he's something else. It's you know he, he's large in that kind of Whitman-esque sense. He's large. And he moves, and it, it changed something in me. I thought, oh, okay, that's much more. First of all, it's more sophisticated, and it's much more intellectually appealing. Um, and once I you know forgot about everything we just discussed, the light blueness and all that, everything was fine. You know, and it started to feel more and more like myself. And it didn't have to be something cardboard. You know, something cut out, something two-dimensional, in a sense. So, with that gauntlet thrown down, <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> two hands on the hips, that's right. <laughs> so, oh. Joaquin and Tyler are going to give us a little bit of Tchaikovsky Pa Adagio, and we'll talk about that a little bit. Uh, and Cameron, if you would uh, lead us through. Thank you very much. So let's stop there and we'll talk a little bit about it. Um, only one hand on hip, I saw, I just saw one. That's okay, it's a hard habit to break. Um, it's Spanish. It's Spanish, indeed. So perhaps it's true for him. We, maybe, maybe, you know, maybe, know. maybe he gets an exemption, uh, an indulgence, as they would say. In the, uh, but something about that standing back 
Don't be afraid to go up and down, yeah. especially when the foot is better. Tell us a few little thoughts. A few little thoughts about it. Just when you said, you mentioned to me oh, just yes. some funny things that, you know, maybe, you know, things have evolved over the years. There have been many versions yes, of Tchaikovsky that Balanchine bit, changed. And, of course. But, but you know, it, it doesn't really matter. So much. You know, and the encounter was really more of a surprise. And, you know, she, he would, she would give him her hand a little bit surprised and not so sure. And then she said, oh, why not after all, you know? And he pulled her to bring her in front of him to do the turn even more. But there's not much time. One thing about the double turn going down, yeah. you know, the turn was literally off kilter completely during the turn. Intentionally. It really was with her right here. Then you had to take her up before the yeah. exit. I think that we've, we've smoothed like that out, perhaps. Generations have, have fixed it, you know. We've it was like kind of nice. There was a hijacking feeling about it, you know, a little hijacking. Yeah, so, so what she means is Off that when you go to so do, to speak. do it a little yeah. bit. Can yeah. you imagine? Okay, we'll try <laughs> that another time. Let's talk about the little, the little area at the end here, that little timing. I mean, actually, I feel like, actually, this one, too. Doobie doo -ba. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Again. And you're very good with those things, with those little retards. You're very good. You've done them in the yeah. too. Yes, it's yes. It's full of push beats. Yes. You know what I mean? About a push beat. There were not many turns also because you wanted to keep the time for the little finishes, you know. Yeah, a little less turn, yeah. a little more Maybe, yeah. of the and, whole. And, and the little bottom. things like that, right. Yeah. yeah. And the little one over here, the, where they just finished, where after the tour jeté, chene, chene, oh, chene. ballroom. What about jeté. that? One leg around, second leg around, like surrounding. Don't go high. Don't think you have to get, get her high. Get her flying, flying. Flying and swimming <laughs> in the church attack. For the church yes. attack. Yeah. Yes, that's it. A little but bit more help. Turn the corner soon with the first leg so you can get the second leg around. Yeah. Attack him a little bit and go, and go with this and then the second leg. And then the preparation was here also before the shoe legs. Yes. You're going to try. But if it's yeah. a foot bed, I'll no. try. Just somebody should try. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yes, that's a little bit. But sometimes he was a little bit. He, you were a little bit more there too, and so that way she could surround you. No, don't go so far. On the contrary, go a little bit more on that side, so she doesn't have to go the, here, but comes here, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah, like this, right? Right. Yes, that's it. That's beautiful. Right, right. Interesting. Good. Okay. All right. Anything else, or should we take a little on? No, you not know. anything you want to see, well, because they dance this all the you time. Know, we so. Used to make an exaggerated fish, the kind of wonderful fish I like working for. You know, in, in, in the turn before running for the little season of us, like that overly quasi back thing, you know, very balancing quasi thing. So like Allegra. Yeah, I, I, I kind Allegra. Of go, you go position all the way Allegra. Yes, 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 like that. Yes. Toes to toes, practically. I right. love the just idea cute, of that. Just cute, yeah. Can we try that? Let's try that with music. In fact, let's do from before <laughs> the tour jeté to that. But when you do it. Um, <laughs> uh, step pas de chat. Devil pay lift. Devil pay lift. That one. Step Parashana. Coming up. And around. Nice. That's right. All right, Tyler, let's see. Ah. Yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's it. Okay. <laughs> Very nice. So you'll all see the next time you go to see. Tyler do Tchaikovsky Parada. Yeah. Now she has the obligation of the fifth, not just the fourth, the obligation of that. Oh my also goodness. because you take her and she says, don't you dare. And then she runs and you say, oh good. <laughs> it's another story. Yeah, yes, exactly. It is. Okay, let's go, you want to go from, let's do from the, the, the grand jetés to the end. Let's try that. Okay, so a little lead in before jeté, just a little.
go. Okay. So, one thing from me and 17 from Violette. No. <laughs> uh, Padasha. Low. Low Padasha, high jeté. Like, the, like it sounds. Da, 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 da. Okay? You don't have to do it, but just remember. Low and then high. Beautiful. And then you go demi point. Da, da. So it goes really high. Beautiful. Then we want to talk about a little bit, a few things. You, you decide which there, ones there you want a, to concentrate. You know the turn where you go arabesque? Well, you turned around and your arabesque went inside between you and me here. And then you did a little but not to do the thing. And the coupe jeté, we didn't do glissat the second time. But when you have her in arabesque outside of you, she has arabesque this way. Turn her this way and she's in arabesque here, literally inside of you. Then she disengaged to go to the jeté. So that was one of the things. It added a little moment of, you know, this yes, right this, this that's right. Difficult. And yeah. then you tolerate instead of, but this one gains time. I understand why it became that. You, because one needs to go there early to not be late on some of the things. Mm -hmm. I can understand that. So yeah. let's try another time. Thank you. Yeah, she's in arabesque, right? Right, out here. Now turn her around, yes. And then there. Well, and then yeah. and a little balance yeah. well, yeah. you know, a little balance well through. A little balance. A little balance well through. through so you can. So without going to pasta. No, Just no, no. That's it. That's it. That's right. And then out with the leg to go to the corner of it. And this one was finished here. And you did this arabesque, and this little attitude going around his neck, all by yourself completely. You did relevé into, into this position. Ooh. Then he got you second, passé, croisé, chassé, croisé, actually. Uh -huh. And then there was a double turn, piqué, double piqué. Uh -huh. the, and then you opened and you did whatever. We had another version of, we had one fouetté attitude and one turn attitude. Oh my God, yeah. really? One fouetté attitude, point down, and one turn attitude. But this is lovely because it flows. This, this, it's a nice about, We were talking for a moment there about the... the Yes, this section there. And we, have, we were thinking you have to play the harp a little bit. Oh, yes, yes. You you do yes, harp. and you, you know, and may, maybe move, maybe move as so you do the string. So that way we'll see you a little bit. Yeah. She, does, she doesn't really need you to partner right, her that much that. there. Yeah. Yes, that's it. Go away yeah, and you can, so, you can even yeah. go, you know, a little, little bit. Nice. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that and was then a the last joke. thing she mentioned was uh, the fish at the end. By putting the foot, could it oh, yes, in, in the coup de pied front. Yes, coup de pied front. And also leave the legs open as long as you can so that you fly. Literally, you're up your feet in the going into it. And when your nose is almost on the floor, then you put the second foot on the first foot. Wow. <laughs> and yeah, you, know, and you turn your head to look back about. to say, Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for doing this. <laughs> I, saw, I saw once, you know, and the only time I ever saw this was a tape of, a tape of Jacques from many years ago. A tape of Jacques doing this. And then, but then many people who danced it, you know, tapes with, with Mr. Balanchine, you know, standing right there. So it, it changed, it evolved, or there were different versions. Oh, yes. But where Jacques did it, I think, I don't know if I told you this, and I never tried it myself, but I thought about it, was instead of going backwards, actually forwards, oh. which means that she could really go She's forward. Before. You know what I mean? <laughs> so she goes, and she's still going, and she's still going, so I was still going, and then that. Oh, yes, nice yes, lovely. Yes, a little bit. Yeah. Oh, I was going to put on. Were you going to fix it? <laughs> Can you do? <laughs> Almost. On the foot, literally, like, you know, a little coup de pied. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, that was wonderful. That's that kind of nice, right? right? That's exactly It makes you do that, but I think oh. you can probably still do it even if you do the other Oh, way. that's wonderful. Yeah. It's, it's a killer, go, but it's go, great. Go, go, go. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Yes. There you are. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Really Very nice. Go. Great. It's kind it's of like fun. A yeah. it's actually, you, you delay the approach. Yeah, you know, you have to say, I'm going to wait until you pull her back. It's hard exactly. You have to let it go, let it go, let it go. And then you can also go back. That's mm -hmm. nice. It's uh, yes, it's nice. It's yeah. nice. All right. It's hard on the partner, but it's nice for the lady. <laughs>
<laughs> Beautiful. All right, now we're going to switch and we're going to have handoff to Danny for the variation. Um, and we'll see Tyler in a minute. So Danny, really? Grant. Grant. Nice. Thank you. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful. Really nice, Danny. Really nice. So the only thing, it's funny, you know, there's something about this that we're kind of saying many of the same things but in different ways, but about letting it stay over on top of it. The only thing when you were doing da 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 dum bum da dum the hands tend to stop. Keep it moving. Da 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 keep telling the story. Keep, that's right. So even though you land, we don't see you land there. Still going. Still going. Same thing, double tour and fingers in the double tour, right? And the double cabriole, wow, so nice. Really beautiful. Oh. Yeah, very nice. And this variation had a lot of incarnations. I mean, I think between Jacques and then Conrad and then Eddie different, different and then things. Peter yes. and Misha, yes. I mean, it's just all... Officially different. Officially different officially things, different. yes. <laughs> so, uh, yes, lots of sanctioned versions, which yes, is nice absolutely. to know, yeah, absolutely. which is beautiful. All right, shall we go to Tyler? So now this was, this was all you, as, we, as we've said. This variation was, by now, this was, Balanchine was working with you on this variation exclusively. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And this was yes, all you. That one was, yes. And yes. I'm curious to know, because there's one little step that I think sometimes gets mm -hmm. lost. <laughs> Exciting. Let's go. All right. We'll see the lost step. <laughs> okay. Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, Tyler Peck. So good, and you can do anything. <laughs> you know, when when you do the attitude arabesque, there is a little assembly, and then stay on point, pose, and do another assembly on point. Assembly, no, uh, assembly would be that leg, yes, and that leg, yes. You don't have to jump too much. And this one would be that leg, and that leg. That's right. Nobody does it anymore. It's not made clear somehow. Very good, all those Ecarte things, very good. This was very small, and just a hand. Tuck, tuck, and hand. And tuck, tuck, and hand. And this was higher, higher, higher. And then you went into all these with all the different performance that goes with it. And the first of the diagonal, we started sooner, and it went by five. One, two, three, four, five. Two, two, three, four. Five, three, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Even if you got five, you have your count at the end of the night. So it, it, that, you know, I can understand that the freedom of turning and doing the step 
in many, many ways, but just for the record, just for the record to remember, you know, it was by five. And because it was a little, it was nice and special that it, Very it, it yeah. described the step in a nice way because with five you had the time to literally teach it to the audience. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you know. Why don't we do, shall we do da ba da ba da ba 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 da and try a little yes. lower? You can try the, that? Those little arm things, yeah. Yeah, so tell, a, yeah, and tell also, that story. And also, you know, you know the philosophy of Mr. B with a croisé of going behind, you know, surrounding, surrounding your foot uh, with the other foot, literally surrounding it. So again, lift the sole so the heel remains forward and your knee is free to turn up a lot and reach the croisé back that way. You know, it's a nice crissy-crossy feeling, crissy-crossy. <laughs> Beautiful. A little, so a little bit before the, that section? Lower hands, lower, 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 lower. Now getting bigger. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, three, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's it. Wonderful. Good for you. Nice. Beautiful. It's a little more time on the turn. Kind of nice with the turns the way you do it. It's wonderful. That was very nice, and the little surrounding was really nice. And the hand played the part just like the heel. And so it was more reduced to the lower arm system. Oh, <laughs> I forget this Sorry. thing. My partner here. No, it's too difficult. I'll... Yeah, right. Good. That lower is it's very special and beautiful. Yeah. And it's right. It's like really telling a little story. And also story. because sometimes when you give less, look at it the looks pinkies. Like more. It looks like more. It, it looks like you're doing less, but it makes a good effect too. <laughs> beautiful. Shall we go on and do a little coda? Okay. Let's try. Let's try a little bit. Thank you for doing that. How are we going to start? Just, yeah. Beautiful, you guys. Just gorgeous. Very easy, you know? I know. They keep it so light and easy. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. So we're going to go back and do, I wanna, we're going to talk about those fuetes a little bit. You had a few little things before. What was that you said about the fifth season? 
the oh, Tyler's you, you, thing. You, you know when you do a season from fifth, season from back fifth, also this was his son. Oh. So the first one doesn't change fifth, the second one changes fifth in his son, dot, change, and change. So it's like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You're always to f in fifth in between. Take bum, it very easy, bum, be careful. Bum, yes, change two, and, and now go back with it and now change your fifth with the second one. Nice. All of that from fifth. She's on out. So don't, not yeah. the step, step. But you know. That's a thought, just a little thought. Did you text her that a little bit? That's it. What? Here. Here. Yes. And then. That's right. There. And also not so high. Again, a little bit more coup de pied type of thing than the really big passé. A lot right? of phrasing. Yes. Yeah. Right. And also. Uh -huh. little lean into it so when you lean into it you're more composed for the little uh, rough arrival of the season yeah, and you know what i'm thinking about this is the making the, the other one too though when you were doing one, this one. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Oh, i can't remember it now <laughs> six i can't remember all those six years. Wow. But it was, it was a little bit more of a step. We didn't have that big developer thing. It was a wonderful little changing fifth step. Yeah, just take out the devil of pay. Six, just take yeah. da, 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 da. I want to I see this one, though, for sure. Just lightly. And you know what was making me think of? It was the same as before. You were talking about Cison and Tyler. You thought, oh my god, boom. With Stanley. Oh yes, and, and we didn't mention Stanley yet. And step assembly. It was, made, me think, of, made me think of Stanley. Williams. Made me think of Stanley Williams, oh, which we talked about in this room the first time oh, he really? came. Remember? Oh, said, yes, of course. And the way he would say to arrive. Oh, yes. So you course. didn't have that. Yes, yes. It's an amazing thing. The great teacher, Stanley Williams, who first, you know, when I called when her, she said, oh, this studio, I remember company. the first day. Oh, yes. It was in this studio. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It was amazing. And you know, Eddie remembered that, too. Oh, when yes. I spoke with yes. him here, he Did said, he I remember him standing oh, yes. outside. You know. All the first classes he gave the company were in this room. Yeah. This, this was, was a quite great, an event. great teacher who balanced. She met in Denmark when he was there. Uh, his wife, Tana Kiel Leclerc, had been stricken with polio and he spent, I don't know how long, a year in Denmark? A year? Six months. But he watched Stanley teaching and later on, Stanley, he brought Stanley him here. Stanley came and, and never he, left again. No, and he taught <laughs> all of us at the School of American Ballet, myself oh, I know. and Heather and, and also he was Debbie one, Wingert, also from City Ballet. And he was able also to watch a lot of Balanchine at work, mm -hmm. inside, classes and all. And he started also teaching the same thing and breaking down things that Mr. Balanchine was doing also. So he went with that. Yeah, but that's his particular thing. Stanley was very cryptic. He was very hard to understand in some ways. He'd say, I don't see it. And you'd say, well, I'm doing it, but I don't, he'd say, I don't see it. Um, he'd say, you have to go, you know, don't, don't go up and you're jumping, you know, things like that. All a little bit reverse. Yes. Uh, yes. Arrive, big toe, you know, and it was all about how you arrived. And that's what I thought when you did the oh, boom. Yes. It was like Stanley would have said, no, but you have to already be there. And it's the same thing on this. You're already there. You're Bye. already there. You're already there. You want to try that? Can you try? And I remember the All right. step of the manege now. Okay. <laughs> you want to show her the step of the manege so she can do that? She yeah, let's just do this little thing. So right before her. there, low arms, low, low. Okay, pretty good. Beautiful. This one was 